Hey guys, we are going to add a mixed number and a fraction, okay? It's like so exciting things happening, all right? Pretty sure that was proper English, okay? But before I add these, I'm actually going to turn my mixed number into an improper fraction, okay? That's when the top is bigger than the bottom. Apparently, that's very improper in fraction land, okay? So I'm going to do it here. If you need another example, I will link one, though. So we take our denominator and multiply it by the big number, okay? So 8 times 3 gives me 24, and then we add the numerator. Okay. So, uh, 24 plus five gives me 29. And that is the numerator for my improper fraction. My denominator is still eight. Okay. And we are adding three fourths. Okay. The kind of crummy news about when we add fractions is that your denominators do need to be the same. I know, but luckily this one isn't too bad. So I look at my denominators and I say, okay, what is the smallest number both eight and four go into? And it's eight, right? So the good news is we don't have to change this one at all. Its denominator is already eight. So 29 eighths gets to stay its happy little self, all right? Now, I look at this one and think, okay, what do I need to do to four to get it to be an eight? So I multiply it by two, right? But I can't just go multiplying a denominator by two and think it's okay. But what I can do is multiply by two over two. And I can do that because two divided by two simplifies down to one. So it's really like I'm just multiplying by one. It's just a weird looking one, right? I'm changing what the fraction looks like, but not its value. Okay. So now we're going to multiply this. So three times two gives me six. Four times two gives me that eight I was looking for. Okay. Happy day. Our denominators are both eight. So when I add these, my denominator stays eight, right? That's why we needed them to be the same. Then we can add our numerator. So 29 plus 6 gives me 35. Okay. Now that is my answer, but a lot of times we like to turn it back into a mixed number. Okay. So to do that, I think how many times does 8 go into 35? Well, it goes four times, right? 8 times 4 gives me 32. So there are three left over and my denominator is still 8. Okay. All right. We did it. Hope that made sense. And I will link some other fraction videos if you need them. Bye.